Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. I'm recording this one a little later in the day. I've been working on downloading a Fallout 4 mod pack for like most of my day. It's a very big mod pack. It's uh, the Ground Zero pack, if you've ever heard of it. It looks pretty fun. They gave it an update recently, so I'm going to give it another shot. But my power went out halfway through downloading it and, like, you know, I had to start over. It's a big mod pack. I was not happy. What we got today? This guy is... What the hell? Whoa! 10 HP, 4 attack barrage? This guy's crazy. Did they buff the heroes? They, like, sneak patch a buff to the heroes? I don't know what's been going on. Um, hell yeah. And I'll, I'll play Spike. You could play Lil Gazi here, I think. It's one of the cases where it's okay, but I'm going to just play Spike. Oh, penguins, let's go, baby. As we're going through this first combat here, I'd like to say I I think, I don't know if I told you this on YouTube, but I am going out of town again. I have to go back to my grandmother's the end of, end of this week. I'll be leaving on Monday. So I will be gone for a bit, but there will be videos. Don't you worry about that. I hit now. I see it. I got it. I got it. Uh, I also, uh, like, I'll, I'll record ahead of time. It'll probably just be Wild Frost. I might do a Mecha Bellum stream highlight or something like that, but uh, the other stuff I want to tell you about, if you hop in my Discord, if you're not in there already, it's in the description. I, if you liked Mecha Bellum, I'm going to probably try to run some community tournaments on my stream. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in doing, uh, you can go in the Discord. I made a thread off of my Mecha Bellum channel, which you can check out. I am... I don't want to take the demonize here. So primarily, what you have to recognize is that... No, this hit was wrong. I should have hit the gobbling there. Uh, I get it, I get it. I messed this up a bit. It's okay. Mm, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine, it's fine. I should have hit the goblin there because then I can set up one, because there would be one more enemy on the board here. But I guess it wouldn't matter because it's going to die at the same timing anyway. Anyway, yeah, if you want to play Mecha Bellum, if you'd be interested in doing a little community tournament, hop in the Discord, let me know. I made a thread off of the channel for it. Uh, and... Yeah, anything else? Not really. Nothing that else with me. Oh, I t I'll, uh, actually, I will have another link in the description. I'm doing another mobile game sponsorship for a Star Trek mobile game, if you'd be interested in that. You can download with my link, play to level 10 on your operations center. That's all the updates I have for you, for real. Nothing interesting to talk about in that fight, so I figured I'd talk about that while we do that fight instead of, uh, you know, before the video starts. I am going to go top pass. There's no reason to go money, so we can look at double double characters here. But yeah, like, I, making small mistakes. Oh, baby. Hell yeah. Making small mistakes in the first fight, are, it's never going to kill you, so I could maybe have, like, five more gold here. Oh no, how will I live? Hey, it's Blunky. Hey, 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 hey. Agent Blunky? Agent Blunky out of retirement. Well, well, well. What do you know? Uh, that's pretty good with the Sun Charm. Nom and Stompy. Mini Mika, I think they like super nerfed this character. Yeah, five, I think it was a four before. Nom and Stompy. Honestly, I could play Mini Mika here. I think that. I think Skaven is just better though. And if I, I, it's between Skaven and Nama Stompy. I'm going to go Skaven because I think he's a little bit more stable in the start of this run. And yeah, let's get it. I'm not going to apply the Sun Charm yet. We're not for sure in on the Agent Blunky angle. Although, you have a little bit more knowledge than I do at the current moment because you can look at the title of this video. You tell me if we're playing Blunky or not right now. I don't want to let the Shrudels attack me. That's that. Therefore, I will freeze them. Seems pretty straightforward. A shame. 
indeed. I am I'm not gonna worry too much about setting up multi kills here. I don't really care. I have enough money. This is not an easy fight for multi killing. Oh hey, this isn't good. Hmm, I didn't think it through. I just assumed I was gonna kill the Shrudels. I didn't actually uh, figure out what I was going to do to kill the Shrudels. So Spike has to die here. It's not the end of the world, because we do get a two kill for it, but not great. Yeah, that's 369 for sure. Ugh, what an annoying fight. Oh, it's only four poison. But that's only because it hit in the spike. I can't, like, put it on the Skaven there. Or anything. And I would like to not hit into the Shroom Gobbler here. I need a freeze. This fight's really obnoxious. Eh, a silence is fine. Just silence the Gobbler. We'll be fine. It's a shame that I got my guy killed, but... It'll be okay. Sometimes it goes like that. Ugh, ugh, disgusting. This fight sucks, what the hell? I feel like I'm just behind the curve on this entire run here. It's gonna take four, it's, it's only going down by two. This is the target I have to worry about. I don't care about the puffball right now. I need to worry about the Shrudels. So what I want to do here is fast draw and then freeze the Shrudels, I believe. Yeah, Junkhead gets hit. He's going to make a lot of junk. And he's going to go up to six poison. And I have to recall my guy. Hmm. This sucks. That's all I have to say about it. This sucks. I don't like this at all. So I have to hammer the puffball, which sucks because it's a waste of my turn. But it's how it goes, I suppose. Because if I don't hammer the puffball, I'm taking a too much poison damage here. Okay, I will hammer the puffball. It's fine. And then I will... And it's. I would like to kill more things, but I think I'm just going to get out of this fight. I don't want to... Ah, oh, but I want to kill the Shroom Gobbler for the money at least, right? 3, 2, 1 is what Skaven tanks here. The Shrudels is coming at me, though. If I don't kill Veiled Lady, the Shrudels is going to beat me down. I don't have a much of a choice. Oh, and I used the 3 damage gear hammer, so I don't even get a 2 kill here. Alright. Uh, just leave this fight behind. Ignore it. Just move on. Move on. It's a, This is the fight that's very hard to play anyway. And Smackback Shroom Gobbler put us in a bad spot. Smackback Shroom Gobbler and that Puffball spawn was really vicious. I should have, in hindsight, I should have silenced the Shrudels and I should have frozen the Pop Shroom. That's the takeaway. I've never seen three cards lined up like this before. I want to go look at three cards. Something here is bound to be good. I will play Pinkberry Juice. I want Mimic. That's the big one here. Magma Booster is okay. I think it's fine. Lumen Lantern is terrible for me. I will play Magma Booster. It's just alright. And lastly, no Mimics? Hmm. Bink got nerfed, but it's still pretty good. And Snail. Crown for sure. Forging Stove is a cool idea with no actual good payoff. 
I guess you could get the 8 damage proto stomper, but I have my doubts. I'll pay 22 for Storm Glove though. Having only one source of freeze in this deck is very painful. I'm giving Blunky his tools. Time for Blunky to get to work. And I think... No, I want... This is Infernoko. I will keep Spike in to help deal with the Makokos. I'll keep Spike crowned, I should say. Mini Moko with an attack charm. Yuck. Gross. You. Stop that. So the play here is to time the bank with something dying so that I don't give attack over to Infernoko and then we can delay forever. So I'll Sunsong- if I Sunsong Vox Agent Blunky, he actually just kills Mini Moko. So I guess I will silence first. And then Blunky pops off on him here. Although, I could let Blunky pop off on him next turn. Hmm, there's not a great way to do this where I set up a cool multi-kill, I fear. I'm gonna heal Spike. Oh, no, I should have done it because now I don't- now I left myself open. Ah, uh, I did not think this through. I- he's gaining attack now. That is what I have done. I have gifted in for Noko attack. He's gonna hit me for- ugh, it kills Spike now for sure. We'll play Junkhead in front. It's okay. Junkhead takes that three, but this was gross. I did not see this line. I forgot about the silencing point. Well, now we're on the clock. I need to be hit by the Makoko. Mini Moko with the charm is also rough. I gotta be careful here. I could definitely lose the game. Skaven's down HP. We need to think everything through from this point. It's very easy to lose uh, lose yourself here. I will definitely Sunsong Box Blanky. And then I have how many cards in here? A lot. I will redraw. And I'm gonna give Blanky the Magma Booster. He's gonna start just blasting through enemies for me, hopefully. Ideally, he, like, kills Makoko here. Skaven goes down to one. Don't worry about it. Ugh, Blunky, what the hell are you doing? Don't hit Infernoko there. Alright. I think Spike performs his final act of service. And we will kill the Makoko here. Could also freeze the Makoko and then Spike doesn't have to die right away. Hmm. I'd like to use my freezes. Because the Makoko dies if I freeze it for two. It dies to my hero. Okay, yeah, and then I bring Agent Blunky down. Mm -hmm. he, hits a he hits a five there. Cool, cool. Hero takes two. Gavin gets recalled. It's tough because I don't know what I'm looking at here from... I don't know if I need to focus... I don't know if I can Storm Glow Mini Moko here. I guess... It's a hit saved on Blunky's block, which is good enough for me to say okay. Yeah. Fine. Goodbye, Junkhead. Goodbye, Makoko. Good hit, Blunky. Good hit. What's left? One enemy soon. I hit the mini Moko down to four, so that it dies if Blunky hits it. 
Snow Gobbler bounces off of Blunky, no problem. Blunky kills it, good job. Quick little redraw. Think feels like a very non-interesting play. I don't think it really helps me much. What I should do is I should hit the Frostinger and kill it. I take three on my hero, that's fine. Blunky wastes another attack. Blunky, whose side are you on here? Hit the guys that are killing me. Okay, Blunky needs to kill Snow Gobbler. I need to freeze Frostinger. Yeah, I need to freeze the Frostinger here so that it doesn't hit me for one. Kill Snow Gobbler, Blunky. You got a lot of chances at this. Alright, you know what? Never mind, Blunky. Don't kill Snow Gobbler. I don't care. I'm going to one on my hero. I'm going to... Oh, silencing Infernoko, I don't think it matters. Does two damage matter? You're at... what? He's at... seven. So two damage matters, but I can do two damage... No, I can't. I should take the two damage. Yes, I should. And then... I'm at one. No Gobbler dies. Boss goes to five. Ah, and then we win the coin flip. Mini Moko spawns top, and I win the game. Excellent. Very cool. Uh, this was a nightmare. I don't know why this fight was so hard. I don't. I think I fucked something up at the start of the fight, but I don't remember what it was. I need card draw to cut through all of the garbage that is getting put in my deck by all of these idiots. Oh, big roll. Huge high roll here for you. I don't have to spend money on this charm, or on this broken vase, rather. Very nice. Gigi's cookie box would have been nice if I could have picked it and then picked up a little mimic, but you know, uh, so who's keeping track? Snuffle seems okay. Colby seems okay. Tinkerson sounds pretty bad. Another wall of stats is good. Fulby is a lot of HP, but I don't I don't really like it. I'll go Snuffle. I think Snuffle is the choice. And we're gonna bench spike now. Boss is the goat. Don't mind. Sun Cream I actually don't need. Strangely enough. But we need another crown, which means, first of all, take off crown spike. We want a crown on Magma Booster, so Blunky gets to start popping and chopping immediately. He gets to begin his effort. And I think I should crown Snuffle. Sun Cream Snuffle would have been fine, I suppose. I said it wasn't that good. It's fine. I'll crown Snuffle here. Hmm. I actually don't think it's that good to crown Snuffle because he's not- he, I want him to freeze the wave of enemies as they spawn in. These guys will hopefully be dead by the time it matters. Alright, team. How's it looking? They just- I have bad damage output and they just keep on giving me these freaking health charms. Stop giving the enemies more stats, you're making my life impossible begging you. Okay. I will probably just freeze everything here. The Blunky output is pretty good at 5 per turn. And I want Junkhead on the field. Blunky dropping 5 per round is pretty decent. My hero taking a Demonize here. A smack bag Gog? Ugh. Yuck. Don't want Junkhead to take this. I'm gonna let Skaven take it. Let's get our Snuffle out. Mm -hmm. I don't really want junk here, so what I'll do is I'll move up. 
I, I don't want Junkhead up here. Because I don't want to be taking more junk than necessary. And... I guess actually, if Blunky hits into the Gawk, it's fine. But uh, there's no reason to hold off, right? I can ink now, I can ink later. It's fine either way. I'm definitely silencing this guy, though. It's good to save the block. There's no- what else am I gonna do on that turn? Nothing. Nothing interesting, anyway. It just feels like I don't have a card that I want to be playing. He has pink berry juice, but... I don't know, man. It's nice. This is three damage to Snoffle, which he can take. We, we want to be sure we're maximizing our health usage. Snoffle takes three here. Cool. He goes to one HP. Perfect. I am making no money in these fights, though. It's so sad. This is a hard fight to make money in because the enemies are very high HP. I feel sad. Funky claps a five. If he hits the jab joke, maybe I can set up a multi kill or something. I keep giving health to Skaven. Yeah, okay, let's try to set something up here. Because I want money. We've been very poor. So I'm gonna freeze the mutton head. I don't care about that demon eyes, it's going on junk head. Porcupine goes to one. I'll let the jab joke take this hit. If Blunky double hits or Blunky hits the mutton head here, I get a nice Oh, I could silence him to get rid of his aimless. And then I get a nice little multi-kill idea here. Yeah, something along these lines, right? Silence Blunky. Aimless is gone. Guaranteed five. Uh, hero goes up. It's a four. Kills Gok. A five kills Jabjo. And then a hammer on the porcupine. And that's a three kill we can find. I think it does matter here. Normally I don't sweat it too much, but like, man, we are we're dying for money right now. I'm starving out here. I need my little blunks to be able to eat for the winter. Ah, too bad. I wanted to see if you could, while silenced, to reapply the aimless plus three. You cannot. I just need- I need support for Blunky. I need him to do slightly more damage and we're gonna start steamrolling. And there are many ways to find that little bit of more damage. Lumen Vase will actually make a big difference even. I think I'd rather die than go to the Gnome Traveler. Plinker? Hmm. Bombarder, Hazebone. I'll go Plinker. Plinker is good. If- we, I- I want Mimic. This run is one Mimic away from going off. Oh, baby, it's going off. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't hate taking Frenzy Wrench there either, but the Mimic is huge. I've been farming for him. I've been going to so many card picks. Spark Charm. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Spark Charm Snuffle is really good. Snuffle insta-freezes everything. That's huge. You can't recall with Spark Charm, but that's fine. Okay, so here's the deal. We take the Magma Booster Crown away, put it on Mimic, and now Blunky Mimic Plinker put out huge damage. If we get Molten Dip, this run ends for sure. What fight is this, by the way? This is Wooly Drek. I'm gonna Crown Snuffle because he offsets the enemies in a nice way if he goes on round start, which he can, just like this. Now these guys... The Bigfoot and the Gromble won't line up with the next round of enemies that spawn in, which will probably matter because I, I feel, uh, you know, with Plinker our damage output's probably actually fine. I think I have enough damage now to just race out the Drek, which is good for me. Bigfoot gets frozen again. I'm not going to hold this hand. Don't fall for the trap of holding onto it. It's not good. There's no point in holding it. Snuffle freezes again. 
And the Wooly Drake is dead. I think I want to give the booster to Mimic over Blonky, right? You see that too? No, I like Mimic being a consistent hit where Blonky is the wild card. Agent Blonky, he's a little bit off the rails. Right, well, we killed the Wooly Drake before it attacked, which is usually a sign that your run is winning. Uh, however, with my upfront power dying off and this Gromble having four attack every two turns, I think perhaps we are in a worse position than you would initially believe. I'm gonna come down here. I th no, we're gonna fight the Grombles. I want Skaven. I don't want to hold on to this hand. We're drawing for specific cards. I'm just going to draw. Blinker dies. Oh, we hit the Gromble. That's pretty nice. Okay, so this four bounces off of Blunk. I'm taking five Barrage on my hero, which is horrific. But I need to play Skaven. If I recall my damage engine, I'm just falling apart for sure. If I play Skaven, I'm building for the future because I can freeze Bigfoot. Like, I can critical freeze, so this Bigfoot is a non-issue. And if I play anything else, it's the same, right? Well, I can play Bink, but what is that going to do for me? Yeah, nothing. I'm going to take the hits here. We're going down to 1 HP on Skaven, which sucks. Blunky loses his block, which also sucks. Whoa. Terrible. And now we freeze the Bigfoot. Right? If Blunky wins another 50 50, I'm very happy with him. Oh, Blunky, you're a fucking genius. We junkhead the Grombles hit. Oh, and I should move someone up to where Snoffle is because Mimic will not proc off of Snoffle. Junkhead goes out. Thank you, Junkhead. Very good job. Monkey, he does have aimless. He just doesn't miss. What you gotta know about him? He may have aimless. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. What the hell? Alright, Blunky. I think the play here, I need the damage. I need the damage output. So we're gonna Magma Booster the Mimic. It becomes a lot of damage very quickly. And we will hopefully just punch right through this bottom area. And Snoffle tanks this too so that I can Sunsong box Blonky here. Because this should kill... I mean, hopefully it kills something down here. Yeah, good enough for me. Now, I do want money, of course. But I can also get the hell out of here. 5, 10, 15. It's 20 damage. It's over. It's over. It's over. I'm leaving. I'm not staying in this situation any longer than I need to. There is no way that in this point you don't take the lethal. Don't worry, this run's gonna take off soon. It's been hard, but we're, we're just one or two good hits away from a dub. Ah, we don't have to take a junk here. How lovely. No gnome traveler. Oh, baby, you shouldn't have. Bloom and goop up. One molten dip would be great. Ah, nice. I'm so good at this game. Uh, what? How short am I? Man, that's okay. I would like to crown. Okay, so the the life has shifted. It's no longer Snoffle. It's Lumen Vase Molten Dip out the gate, off the rip. No aimless means I get focus damage and it's huge. We are strong. And one more crown, if I get one more crown, goes to Plinker, who then... Actually, it might just go to Plinker anyway, because Molten Dip Plinker is... Yeah, Molten Dip Plinker is way better. Mm. No, it's not. 
I I don't have a crown to give up. The Lumen Vase is better here. I understand. If I get another crown, it goes to Plinker, though. Dude, it's been so many health charms. It's just health attack smack back, it feels like. Alright, team. Let's show these mushrooms who's in charge here. Your bonus health is very cute. I'm gonna get Skaven on the field first. There's no reason to rush. And I'm not bothering with Blinker because his attack would have been wasted here. Now I play Blinker because his attack would have just gone to Truffle, which I didn't want. This way it's not wasted, he hits into the Shroom Gobbler. And now we just start beating the shit out of Truffle. We kick his ass in the replies. Our damage output is not something that Truffle can fight. I would like to do 8 times 2 down here. So Plinker's just gonna waste around. And that's okay. I think. Because now it goes big hit. Oh yeah, we're making money. The first wave of enemies are showing up and they're gonna go, man, what the hell's going on out here, Truffle? You good, buddy? He is, he is not good. He's getting his ass kicked. It feels good, because we've been getting our ass beat for the whole run, so it's nice to have a fight where we get one back on him. Blunky has reached his power spike, though. This is the Blunk zone, and now we make all of our money back and everything is lovely. I don't necessarily feel like I want a Magma Booster, but I think it's fine. Because go It's interesting, because 8 damage but random is a little questionable. But now I just hit Sunsong Box next turn with my hero attack, and we win the game. Yeah, in time with the hero attack. What are you at? This is a split I will take. Eh, maybe I shouldn't have. What? We're good here. You can go home now, everyone. A scary run, though, for sure. I feel like I'm, I'm talking about it like it's over. It's probably over now. Because we get another crown or two and this one really gets out of control. But it was tight. Ah, uh, it's not over yet. We gotta deal with these guys. The hogs. I want treasure because I can skip it. If I couldn't skip it, I would go money. Mega Mimic, is he worthy? He is. It's a very fast 15 damage, which is nice. I'm getting rid of Skaven for Spike in this fight. And we just gotta be a little bit cautious. This is not a fight for multi-kills. This is another fight for survival. I don't need money, I need to not die to Warthog. And we need to act accordingly. We have to give Warthog the respect that he is due here. Every Warthog, not just this one. They all need their respect. So if I don't respect them, I'm going to get put in the dirt. This hog kind of beats me up here. Yeah, it's okay. I go like this. I have to take two on my hero, which is fine. If you put Spike on the top though, you take three, which is not great. It's all not great, but this is the best of the options, I would say. We want to hold this hand because I want to play Snowzooka. I guess I have Bink in here. Yeah, the good thing is we have Silence. I don't really like wasting Plinker, but I guess it's not a waste. He loses his attack even because he procced no matter what. Alright, and now we come down. I let the Plinker kill the top. 8 plus 5 plus 6 is enough to wipe almost all of this out. A certain hog doesn't face defeat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I draw 7. I will not redraw here because there is a chance that I lose the game. Or rather, I should say, there's a chance that I don't pull a silence and then this turn is much, much worse. Oh, I was wrong by the way, I forgot Mimic would proc off of uh, my hero as well. How could I forget? 
I think one, two, it's it's good to hold off here. If you don't mind, I'm actually gonna pause right now to take my screenshots because I have I have been struck with the inspiration of what I'm gonna call this one. So give me a sec. All right. Sorry, normally I like to make sure that there's not a cut there, but I forgot what I ended my... Like, I forgot what I said I'd be right back on. I think it might have been this screen. Uh, my fault. I apologize. You'll get over it, I'm sure. We're gonna boost up Blunky here. This is a slaughter, though, now, because I just go... They spawn in, right? Yeah, of course. I go instant snuffle, frame one snuffle hit. Eight and six. I don't want to... Yeah, I, I am happy with this. I don't want to kill the Warthog right now. Because what you would prefer to do is wait. Because I have Bink. Like this. It's two turns, which is fine. Now there's no Smackback and there's no Wild passed over to Razor. And then I want Hero up here, and it goes Mega Mimic here. This is probably lethal. Oh, I'm so stupid. My hero's in the wrong spot. Sorry, Blunky. It's still lethal, I think. Oh, it's not. I missed lethal on Razor because I didn't put Blunky in the right spot. Ah, that's okay. I missed a 6 kill is all. Blunky dying is not a problem because you don't actually lose any stats or anything because he doesn't have stats to lose. It's just silly to have him die like that. Hero goes in front and you take the damage. It's okay. Oh well. We will survive. It happens. And we're, yeah, we're still very rich. Sorry, Blonky. Sometimes you catch a strike. Man, no shop, that sucks. Man. Oh well. I can go for the duplicate, honestly. The charm merchant is just too crazy, though. I have $384. If there's even one good charm in here, this run is transformed. Gotcha Pomper is pretty wicked. Bomb Barrel is also very good. I think Bomb Barrel is probably better. I think Gotcha Pomper is also strong, though, with Blunky. I'm gonna go Bomb Barrel, though. It's a little more stable. Both of those are great. Oh my god, Frostbell with apply one bomb? That's pretty nuts. When Snowed gain equal attack, I'm not gonna play that. I'm definitely gonna play this Frost Bell. Gnome Charm giving an extra attack and aimless is interesting. I think it is good, and I will take it. And then this is Trash One. These are actually pretty shitty charms, though. That's alright. So a plus one attack aimless on either unit is good. I think it should go to Mimic. Could also go to Blunky. I think it's better on Mimic though. Pretty sure it is. And then... I don't need Spike in this fight, but I'll probably bring him back for the final fight. I just need a body up there. I might bring Skaven too. It's not like this deck is thin. This deck is full of junk. Figuratively and literally. We should be fine. The alternative line there, the other way to play it, is to go Shade Sculptor and get a second Molten Dip. You can also do that and it's fine. Oh, this fight's not hard. I have Silence. I, I keep forgetting, because it is kind of nuts, that I can just say to an enemy like Frost Guardian, by the way, your effect is gone. Nice try, buddy, but your effect is no longer needed. So, this all dies. I should I should silence him now. Probably with a bink. Doesn't really matter. Silence him now, though, because there's a chance that he gets hit. I've never seen that frenzy be at times one, have you? Whoa, I've never seen that before. That doesn't look right. I will pink berry juice our hero. It doesn't really matter how I play this fight, because the Frost Guardian just can't play. So I'm chillin'. Yeah, 
he uh he can't play. Ice Forge. Yuck. Definitely want to focus this down before we phase change here. I got hammers for that. Yeah, even even with the minus two, it's not that big of a deal. Two damage? I don't think I'll be taking that here. I'll take zero, thank you. And then we just frost fell. Probably top side. It's all good. You see how much damage we put out now. I worry because we have aimless as part of our damage source that perhaps we're gonna struggle in the final fight. Just a touch. Not much. I would like to play Plinker here. They're plinking me, they're plinking me. Doesn't really have the same ring to it, does it? But a second attack means Mimic goes so nuts. Just careful I don't die to this. A little suspicious of the times one, I gotta tell ya. Here's the deal. I don't want to get got here. So I'm gonna let Plinker take the stage. I can also... Yeah, I'm just gonna let Plinker take this hit. I'm gonna Frost Bell. It, there's, there's no tally. Yeah, okay. Just, you know, I wasn't sure if he would actually attack only once or if he was gonna attack me twice. You may as well be safe, right? There's no reason not to. It doesn't matter if Plinker takes that hit. But it, and it doesn't matter if Plinker takes two hits there, does it? Alright, final boss time. I think crowning Bomb Barrel is wrong now. The only thing of note here is it might be right. I, it's, it's probably wrong. I don't... Hmm. Actually, no, you know what I'm going to do? I changed my mind. I think I am going to crown Bomb Barrel. Because I can go crown Snoffle, crown Bomb Barrel. Snuffle comes in and gives me a freeze, and then I bomb barrel, and I have a free turn where the enemies can't do anything, and Snuffle's on the field. I'm gonna bring Spike back to tank. And we're gonna run like this. And so, because the problem with playing bomb barrel now is that it puts junk in your hand. And you can't draw to full if, you're, if your hand is full of junk. So, I'm gonna play bottom with Blunky Hero Mimic. So here, with the changes now, I will only draw three cards, but this turn is free and I have Snoffle rolling. Hmm. I bet if I play Mega Mimic here, I actually win the fight. I think I will beat the Jailer down, because I play Mega Mimic then Molten Dip, I think I beat the Jailer down in the next two turns if I do this. Oh wait, Mega Mimic, yeah, he just pops off on him there. My Mimic only procced one time though, which is not what I would have expected. And now my hero is trapped in front of the Crusher and the, bom the Bomber, which is not ideal. So I definitely don't love where we ended up here. I expect that to look a little bit better, but that's okay. My hero can tank the two from the Crusher and still be fine. I play Spike to take the three from the Junker so that the Lancer can't kill Blunky. The Junker dies. I'm surprised at how that played out. Whenever you have Mega, Mega Mimic and Mimic together though, things get weird fast. Snuffle drops a big freeze, which means this turn is free, and I can play Lumen Vase on Pinkberry Juice, I think. We get a nice little freeze here. Terrible hits, Mimic. What are you doing? But then I'm gonna pink berry juice up to 16, which gives me a lot of time before the bomber is a problem. Brother Mimic, kill the fucking jailer. What are you doing? Whose side are you on? Snuffle dies here, unfortunately. That's okay though, he did everything he had to do. He shouldn't die here. He dies here because Mimic is fighting for the wrong side. This Mimic is actually he's who what the fuck is he doing? What is he cooking? Who let this guy cook? Oh yeah, I could have also just fast drawn for a silence, by the way. Well, I shouldn't let Spike die for fun, so I suppose I should play Bink here, because it kills the Jailer. Mm -hmm. this, mimic is, uh, this Mimic's a paid actor. That's all there is to it. That's what I have been shown here today. I'm gonna let Spike die. I, I'm gonna play Frostbell. I don't want to play Plinker here. Spike doesn't die then also, which is cool. Oh, should have moved my hero down. It's okay. We are, like, for sure winning at this point, I would say. 
but you can still look for the optimizations where they are. Don't get overconfident. You can always catch a loss in this game. You're weakened. I'll pink berry juice Spike, I suppose. He doesn't have to die here. Hang in there, brother Spike. It's almost over. I'm telling you. Check, check Mega Mimic's PayPal. You're gonna see a payment from the Frost Guardian in there. The Frost Guardian's paying him to throw the fight. I can see it. That's okay. We're all good here. We won it. It was a tough run, though. I I often approach these runs with a very carefree, like, laid-back everything. We're always... It feels oh, often like runs and combats are unusable, but in it, in the Infernoco fight, and especially in the Big Lou fight, I could have died. The Infernoco fight was very close, and the Big Lou fight... Uh, it wasn't as close because we were able to kill Lily Crack fast, but still pretty close. Scary, I would say. But yeah, GG, GG. Good run. I appreciate that one. This was a very fast run, too. 46 minutes. That's that's fast. Another dub. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.